Do we write the word numbers down here? Yes. There are two different sections under numbers. One of them we won't talk about till for another few years. And they are this over here. We're going to put this way over here off in no man's land because we don't deal with it. They are called the imaginary numbers. Imaginary numbers don't exist. That's why they're imaginary. That's why we're not going to talk about them. You, uh, we are going to talk about real numbers. Pretty much everything you know is a real number. I'm going to draw a big old box that holds all the real numbers. Everything I write in this box is a real number. Now, inside that box of real numbers, we have what are called rational and irrational numbers. Maybe you remember this from before. Does anybody remember this? Did we talk about this before? Yeah. And rational. Now this only makes sense. Does anybody know what is the difference between if somebody calls you rational or if somebody calls you irrational, what does that mean? Parker? If I said, Parker, you are being irrational, what does that mean? Not like. Is it good to be irrational? No. No. Why not, Abram? Because you're not making any sense. Okay, and that's exactly what irrational numbers are. They are numbers that don't make sense. Well, in a sense, they do make a little bit of sense. They don't make a lot of sense. And there's only really two things that fit under irrational for you. Okay. One of them is the number pi. But you say, but I know pi is like 3.14. Yes and no. Pi is not technically 3.14. If I asked you to give me exactly what pi is, Tyler, you would say, but you can't. Because you can't. Yeah, because it goes on forever. Decimals that go on forever and don't repeat are irrational. Okay? If they repeat, they're rational because they can be turned into fractions. But if they're irrational, pi is irrational. And the other thing that's irrational is, does anybody know? Square roots of numbers that don't work out. Like the square root of 5. The square root of 5 doesn't work out evenly. In other words, if you plug it into a calculator, the calculator will give you a whole bunch of digits, but it's like pi. Those digits continue on forever and ever, but the calculator screens like, so it makes only gives you so many of them. Okay. Now, the square root of 4 is not irrational because it works out nicely. The square root of 4 is 2, so it, it would fit over here in the rational numbers. So anytime you hear the word irrational, you really, for right now, just have to think about this. Pi and square roots that don't work out. What's another square root that doesn't work out, Jacob? 3. Square root of 3, you can't do it. It doesn't work out nicely. Square root of 6 doesn't work out. Square root of 7. Square root of 8. They can be simplified, but they still don't work out. Square root of 9 works out. Square root of 10 doesn't. Square root of 11 doesn't. So those are irrational, and we don't deal a lot with those, but we do deal with them a little bit. Now, under rational numbers, okay, rational numbers technically are any numbers that can be made into fractions. But under rational, we have a little subset that are, again, let me try to get this right, um, they are the integers. I'm going to draw a little box around the rationals. In the thing of rational numbers, you have integers. Does anybody know what an integer is? I should probably give you some examples. Integers. Integers, integers, integers. Anybody integers, integers, integers? Go on, let's go twice. Evelyn, they are? Negatives somewhat. They're positive and negative whole numbers. That's what integers are. Positive and negative whole numbers. There's no fractions, no decimals. For example, negative 8 
12 is an integer, 0 is an integer, uh, 15 is an integer. Those are all integers. What are some things that are rational but not integers? Any decimal, any fraction. 7 eighths is a rational number that is not an integer. 0.6, rational but not an integer. You know, 3 and 3 fifths, rational but not an integer. Integers have to be their only whole numbers. And then integers, I'm going to put a little box around them. Under integers, we have the whole numbers. Under integers, we have the whole numbers. Does anybody know what whole numbers are? Wait, David says. Just nominal numbers. Yeah, not. They're the same as integers, except there's no negatives. It starts with 0, and it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, and forever that way. Those are the whole numbers. And then one smallest category we have left are the counting numbers, which are also called natural numbers. You'll be asked this a bazillion times in seventh grade. Miss Lopez is here again with her camera. Yeah. Could, could you help out a person in need? Oh, hi. I haven't this? used, well, this is my camera. So when Carol was in camera crisis last night, I had to uh, do for Carol it. Crisis. And so then, of course, it has a battery backup or rechargeable battery. Of course, I couldn't get it to charge because I had it in wrong, and then I figured it out. So then I didn't realize. Like the first it. picture that popped No, there's up. other ones on here from when I bought the camera. My Disney trip with some other things. Ooh. Disney I, World or Disneyland? Land, because I was out in California. Mm -hmm. uh, but I thought, you know, this would bring back fond memories. That was. I chuckled ever so yeah. much. Anybody back to the counting natural numbers? Anybody know what the difference between a whole number and a counting number is? All I have to do is think about this. When your parents taught you to count, when you were just one slash two slash whatever, some of you just last year, what did they say to you? What did they teach you to count? I don't remember. One, two. What don't they ever say? Parents never start with the letter Z, number zero. When they teach you to they count, they don't go, okay. Okay, Carolyn, zero, because you know what? Zero is not an easy thing to remember. How do you show somebody zero? How, do, how would you show a baby zero? You can't, because there's nothing there. But I mean, they would look at it and go, okay, this is zero, whether you have a hand, you have fingers or something there. Okay, but it's easy to do one, because, you know, one, two, you have two, but how do you show zero of that? You'd have to have it, maybe take it away. So that's what... Counting numbers and natural numbers are the same thing. They are just start at one, no zero. Everybody's good with that? Okay. So with that being said, oh, there's so much to do. This would be a shame if we didn't have enough to handle that much. Wait, what's your thoughts? We could stop right now and just do the homework if we can keep going. And maybe not have homework. What's your thoughts? Right? Keep going. All right, with that being said, by the way, the thing I was looking for was this whole thing on paper, and I'll see if I remember it. I copy it for you. So let's say I gave you this. Let's say I gave you um, negative 8. And I ask you to tell me, to classify that, which groups of these numbers would negative 8 fall in? By the way, it falls into more than one because you have the smallest group and then you have all the other groups that it belongs to. Amelia, which one does it belong to? Or which ones? Rational and integer. And oh, and real. Yep. Yeah, this this would be a real number. It's a rational number. It makes sense. And it's an integer. If I gave you seven eighths, seven eighths belongs to what groups? Belongs to two of them. Which ones has the fraction in it? Abram. Rational, real, rational. Yeah, real and rational. 
if I said uh, the square root of 16, the square root of 16 belongs to what groups of numbers? Oh, now everybody's all confused. By the way, I am trying to trick you a little bit here, so be careful. What's your answer? Square root of 16 belongs to what groups of numbers? Square root of what? Uh, real and inter-rational and rational. Yes. And? Uh, rational. And? When you think about this, you have to always use the simplest form of the number. What is the square root of 16? 4. 4. So you have to tell me the number 4 belongs to what groups? Four. Counting, whole, integer, rational, real. It belongs to all of them. Okay, so you always have to use the simplest, simplest form. Just like if I gave you this, 15 fifths. Belongs to what groups of numbers? Faith? Um, real, rational, whole, uh, Don't forget about any groups. It's an integer as well. Because everything, anything that's a, a member of a small box is a member of every box above it. So if it's a member of, if it's a counting number, it's also a whole, also an integer, also a rational, also a real. Uh, what if I said the square root of 15? Belongs to what set of numbers? Wade Davis? Real. Real is and irrational. Irrational and real. Irrational slash real. It does stand for something, but it's kind of irrational there. Uh, no, Alright, perfect. Oh, we need a blank piece of paper. I think that'll show up. Everything is so dark around it. I think it's because my screen is so dark. How did you do 